Hey everyone, I'm Logan. Thanks for joining me for church today. We are continuing our series about Moses, a legend in the Bible who trusted God, faced his fears, performed miracles with God's power, and he ultimately saved his people under God's guidance. Moses experienced a lot of hard things in his life, even some scary things, but he always knew that God was with him. That reminds me of our Bible verse, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. That verse says that when God is with us and we have him in our hearts, he will give us his spirit and help us to be strong and brave and do good things that he has planned for us. We don't need to be afraid. Let's stand up and sing that song together right now. Great job. That song makes me feel brave because God's spirit is in me when I believe in him. And God was with Moses too. So even when Moses faced scary things, God was with him and helped him be brave. We've talked a lot about some of the things that Moses experienced in his life, but maybe one of the most scary things was the Red Sea. Picture this. Pharaoh's army was chasing Moses and he was on the run, but a huge ocean was blocking his path and the army was getting closer. What was he supposed to do? Well, let's check out our Bible story and see what happened next. Stories of the Bible, Moses and the Red Sea. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time where Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt to the land of Midian. Uh. Many years later, God called Moses back uh. to Egypt to rescue his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Ooh. The Pharaoh did not want to let God's people go, and God showed his power throughout all Egypt by sending plagues. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up and heard a great cry in Egypt. Huh? For there was not an Egyptian house in which someone was not dead. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and told them to leave Egypt with the Israelites. So the Israelites immediately left Egypt and made their way for the Promised Land, taking with them many riches from Egypt. 
They took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. God led them by a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. God told Moses to have the people camp along the shore of the Red Sea. Okay, got it. We're stopping here. God told Moses that the Egyptians would come after them, but that God would show his glory and power through this. When word reached Pharaoh that the Israelites had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. The Egyptians found the Israelites camped along the shore of the sea. As Pharaoh and his armies came close, the Israelites panicked. They cried out to God and asked Moses, why did you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? But Moses told the people, don't be afraid. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Then God said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. All right. As night came, the pillar of cloud became fire and it went between the Israelites and the Egyptians. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea and God opened a path through the water with a strong wind. The wind blew all that night, turning the seabed into dry land. Come on, are you? So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground, with walls of water on each side. Come on! Then the Egyptians chased the Israelites into the middle of the sea. But just before dawn, God looked down on the Egyptian army from the pillar of fire and cloud and he threw their forces into total confusion. Let's get out of here, away from these Israelites. The Egyptians shouted, the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. When all the Israelites had reached the other side, God said to Moses, raise your hand over the sea again. Who got it? Moses raised his hand over the sea and the water rushed back into its usual place. The Egyptians tried to escape, but God swept them into the sea. That is how God rescued Israel from the hand of the Egyptians that day. When the people of Israel saw the mighty power that God had shown against the Egyptians, they were amazed. They put their faith in God and in his servant, Moses. Okay, did you see that? That was amazing. Moses did an amazing miracle through God's power and he parted the Red Sea in half so that his people could walk right through it. So cool. Moses knew God was with him, so even though he might have been scared, he chose to be brave because God was on his side. That reminds me of our big idea for today. When I feel scared, I can be brave because God is with me. I don't know what kind of things scare you, Maybe you're scared to make new friends or go to a new school, or maybe you're scared you won't make the team or you're scared of trying something new. Whatever it is that comes to mind, remember that God is always with you. He was with Moses every step of the way and he's with you too. That makes me feel brave. Now let's watch some people face their fears with some hilarious videos in this week's episode of Rewind. Check it out. What's up everybody? My name is Caroline and this is Rewind. <laughs> you guys know the drill by now. Rewind is a show where we compile the best videos that YouTube has to offer and show them to you, our loyal viewers, because we love you. Now let's get started. Do you guys like scary movies? I absolutely hate them, but for some reason, I love watching people getting pranked on the internet. And that brings me to the title of today's game. Are you scared yet? I will subject myself to five of the best prank videos online and rate them on the scaredometer. You know what's up, a one is not so scary and a five is super scary, I think I just peed myself. Make sense? Let's do it. Okay, let's take it from the top. Video number one. 
Oh my goodness, this poor little boy. That bear just moved. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that slow motion. That little kid's face was so intense. But I don't think a stuffed bear would scare me that much. So I'm gonna have to give it a two on the scared meter What, you guys think I get scared easily? No, not at all. I'm sticking to my original score of two. All right, next video, video number two. He had no idea that was coming. Look at his reaction in slow motion. Did someone call my name? <laughs> These videos are funny, but I really don't think I would be that scared if that happened to me. Come on, she just caught him off guard. <laughs> okay, fine, maybe I got a little scared. I'm gonna have to give it a two on the scared meter as well. That wasn't fair though. I have our next video. Oh no. Oh my gosh. No way. He's climbing on top of the books. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he just climbed on top of that thing. <laughs> he went into the freezer. That's how freaked out he was. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. See, now that is actually something to be scared about. Man, I think I'm gonna have to give that one a four on the scared of the Video number four. Oh no. Oh my goodness, poor little boy. He just went straight to the ground. Okay, so let me get this straight. A grandpa hid in his house with a fake sword with the lights off to scare his grandson? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to give that one a three. I better be nice to my grandpa. All right, next video, video number five. everyone watching what is going on. Oh my gosh! I had no idea I was not paying attention to that bush at all. Oh, these people have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> that would have been me for sure. <laughs> that was by far the scariest thing I've seen all day. I'm gonna have to give that a five on a scared of you. See, I do think things are scary. See, I'm not the only one who Haha, ha, so funny, you guys got me. <laughs> okay, so maybe getting scared isn't the most fun thing in the world, but it's always fun to watch other people get scared. It's easy to laugh at them because it isn't scary for us, but we get scared all the time in life and not just when a scary movie is on TV. Life is full of things that we're unsure about and those things can cause us to be afraid. But the Bible is full of stories that teach us how to respond when we're scared. Today, we're learning about when Moses led the Israelites out of slavery. The Israelites, God's chosen people, were enslaved by Pharaoh, the leader of Egypt. After God demonstrated his incredible power with 10 plagues, Pharaoh finally decided to let the Israelites leave Egypt. But before long, Pharaoh changed his mind. He gathered all of his horses and chariots and soldiers, and he chased after the Israelites. Around that time, Moses and everyone else arrived at the Red Sea. In the distance, they could see Pharaoh's army growing closer. They were trapped. The Israelites must have been terrified, but God was with them. He told Moses to raise his staff, and when he did that, God sent a strong wind that parted the water of the Red Sea, creating a path for the Israelites to cross. Once they made it to the other side, Moses once again raised his staff over his head and the waters of the Red Sea came crashing down on the Egyptian army. I don't know about you guys, but I would have been terrified if I saw the Egyptians coming. I probably would have been even more scared crossing the Red Sea with huge waves of water ready to crash down it any moment. But when it came down to it, the Israelites had faith in God in that moment. They were brave when it mattered most. Sometimes this kind of bravery can seem impossible to have ourselves. I get scared all the time over things that are so much smaller than what the Israelites encountered. It can be easy to see the Israelites as some people in a story who were totally different than us. But even if they lived in a very different time and place than us, we share one very important thing in common. We worship the same God. He cares for us just as much as he cared about the Israelites and he takes our fears just as seriously. When we get scared, it's important to remind ourselves that God loves us. On top of all the times that God has provided for us in our lives, we also have a whole Bible full of stories of times when God helped his people in moments of need. God wasn't surprised when the Pharaoh changed his mind and sent his army after the Israelites. This is God we're talking about. He had a whole plan right from the very 
beginning, including having the Israelites cross the Red Sea. But Moses and the Israelites didn't know God's plan. Moses had to go to God in prayer when he was scared, and the Israelites had to trust God as his plan was revealed to them. The next time you feel scared about anything, and I mean anything, remember that you can go to God with your fears. It's okay to be afraid. No fear is too small for God, but it's important that we share our fears with God in prayer. This will help us to trust in God more, and the more we trust in Him, the less afraid we'll be as we go through life. All right, guys, we're just about done here. We'll catch you back here next week for another episode of Rewind. Okay, I think the scared meter would be off the charts for me every time. Did you see that giant teddy bear moving? No thank you. That would freak me out so much. Watching videos of other people being scared is a way more fun than actually being scared. But I'm not sure I can think of anything scarier than being chased by an army that wants to kill me with no way out. Just imagine how Moses must have felt. But Moses knew that God was with him. He guided them with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And when Moses and the Israelites came to a dead end at the Red Sea, Moses raised his staff and God parted the sea in two. Moses' life is proof that God is with us even when we're scared. And because of that, we can be brave knowing that God is on our side. Whenever you feel scared, think back to the story of Moses or other stories in the Bible where God shows us he is always with us. Or when you feel scared, you can say your memory verse or sing worship songs to remind you that God makes you brave and that he is on your side. I've had such a great time hanging out and learning about Moses with you guys today. I'm already feeling more brave after hearing that Bible story. And remember, you can be brave too, because God is with you. And hey, we would love to see you in person too, so check out our campus locations and find a Saddleback Kids near you. Don't forget, we have some awesome activity sheets, coloring pages, and even some stuff for your parents online at saddlebackkids.com. Check it out and we'll see you here next week to learn what happened in Moses' life next. See ya.